Good morning, YouTube family. If this is your first time here, my name is Vicki, and I'm glad you decided to stop by. Today's video is a special video. It's a retro crock pot collab, and it's hosted by Tiffany of Small Town Six, and her channel and the playlist will be listed below in the description box, so make sure you check those out as long as the other contributors in the playlist as well. We would love for you to like, comment, and subscribe to all of our channels. And today's video, I'm going to be making for this a beef tips and gravy recipe. Now, I remember my mom making something like this. She did not use a crock pot that I remember. My dad said that she did but I don't remember her ever using a crock pot. I remember, you know, in the last few years, my dad cooking for them and him making a roast or roast beef or beef stew or um, um, soup beans, something like that in the crock pot. But I always remember my mom cooking like in a oven roasting bag when she would make a roast or she would make a meatloaf, something like that. I remember her using those roasting bags. So she passed away in December, so I can't really ask her, but I really do not remember her using a crock pot when I was growing up. But this is similar to like a roast beef split. Also known we call as it, an open and, um, roast beef. I'll show you how we fix that, and you can serve it. It's basically like beef tips with gravy, and you cook it in the crock pot. You can serve it on a slice of bread with mashed potatoes and then your beef and gravy on top of that. Or you could just serve it, you know, on the side by itself with mashed potatoes or whatever you want to serve with it. Um, so I'll probably do Chad's like a roast beef split because he likes that. He orders that a lot of times from where we live at this local restaurant. Um, I don't know if I'll do mine that way or not, but I'm gonna fix some sides with it. So I hope that you enjoy this video. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to do that as well. I share a lot of cooking videos and grocery hauls and things of that sort. Sometimes my husband and I do vlogs, so we share a little bit of the day in our life, things like that. But I hope that you enjoyed this video, so let's get started. Okay, all you're gonna need for this recipe, you're gonna need one packet of the Lipton Onion Soup Mix or any brand, I've got the Food Club brand. You're gonna need one packet of the brown gravy mix, one cup of water, and of course your meat. This is the beef tips that I'm gonna be using. It's the round tip cubes. This is a pound and one and a third pound. I think it'll be okay. And I'll tell you, I have a little thing that I do after I make a roast. So, all I did was I added my meat to my crock pot. And I'll tell you what I do. If you have extra meat left over that you don't eat, I use it and I make beef stew or vegetable beef soup the next day. Or I can actually put it in a freezer bag, the meat that's left, and I can freeze it and use it when I make beef stew the next time or vegetable soup. Uh, also, you can saute an onion or mushrooms and add to it. Chad's not big on the mushrooms and onions, so I did not do that, um, but you can do that. So, I'm just putting my beef tips in there. I'm gonna add just some pepper. I'm not gonna add any salt because there's a lot of salt in that Lipton onion soup mix and we don't wanna add any more sodium than what we need to. So I'm just sprinkling this envelope of that onion soup mix right over top. And like I said, that's got the onion too, so you really don't have to have it. And then I'm taking one cup of water and one packet of gravy mix, brown gravy mix, and I am going to just whisk those together and pour it right over the meat. This is so simple to make, guys, and it's really good. Mix those together really well and pour that right 
over the meat like that. That will thicken up and make a gravy. It's not gonna be real watery. And that's all you have to do, guys. We're gonna put it on the, this is the crock pot. We're gonna put it in the crock pot on low for eight hours. It's eight o'clock right now. I've got Grammy school today. My son and his wife are both teachers. They have an open house today. So they will not be home till six o'clock tonight or at last till six. So I'll be making dinner and that way the babies can eat and um, dinner will be easy. I'll just add, I'm gonna fix some French style green beans and rolls and mashed potatoes and it's gonna be a really delicious dinner. So make sure that you come back and see how this turns out in eight hours. I'll talk to you in a minute. Guys, here's a little um, tip too, is I'm gonna take a paper towel and put it right on the top of my pot to catch that condensation and then put the lid on it. It'll still cook, it won't mess with that at all and it'll catch that condensation. So I'm just gonna set my crock pot back there. Smells so good. Really good, that's gonna be so good with mashed potatoes and green beans and rolls. I just went ahead and opened up a can of these French style green beans and added some bacon grease that I saved to them. And we're gonna cook those on medium high until they come to a rolling boil. And then I'll turn them down on low and let them simmer until I finish dinner up. Okay, I went ahead and peeled six potatoes and just cut them into pretty even sizes, and I'm gonna put them over here in my quick cooker. Okay, I got my potatoes in here. We're gonna cook them for 20 minutes. And by the time that gets done, a rose will be done, and everything will be ready. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get our rolls put on the pan and butter them and get them in the um, oven. And this is gonna to come together really quick. I think it's gonna be delicious. Okay, I just got the rolls out of the oven. They look so good and yummy. Okay, everything is ready now. So I'm just gonna go ahead. I'm using my handheld potato masher. I added a half a stick of butter, some salt and pepper, and probably a half a cup of milk to my potatoes. And they turned out great. They were absolutely delicious. The first thing I'm gonna do is take a slice of bread and put it on the bottom. And then I'm gonna cover it with a layer of mashed potatoes. I did not put a lot of mashed potatoes on this one because Chad is not a fan of mashed potatoes. But he likes it on like a split, a roast beef split or an open face roast beef sandwich. So I put the mashed potatoes on it and now I'm just covering it up with a layer of those beef and beef tips and gravy. And that's what it looks like. And I'm gonna add him some French style green beans on the side. And I'm gonna let him do a taste test for us. Okay, Chad's gonna try this. That's the beef tips and gravy. Mm. I done it like you do, like Does the roast beef good? split. Does it look like the roast beef split at the grill? It looks better. Mm. Better watch, it's hot. Mm. Is that hot? Right. Does very it taste good. like the roast beef split or better? Better. It's very, very good. You know, some is the meat tender. Meat. Yeah, it's very tender. Okay. Mm -hmm. You all heard it here. Amelia, let's show them what your plate looks like. She's in here in the Grammy school room. Where's your plate? What's the matter? Oh, here's her plate. She is eating the beef tips in a row and green beans. Are you letting it cool? Yeah, okay. You didn't do Guys, it is now 7 p.m., 6.56 actually, and the babies just left. Their parents had open house and then they got here and they left. Um, dinner was amazing, it was delicious. I'll throw a picture of my plate in there. I did not do mine like the open face, like Chad did his. And I sent dad a plate and he texted me and said it was absolutely delicious. He ate every bite and he loved it. It was a really simple recipe for the crock pot, but it was absolutely delicious. I just wanted to say thank you all for watching. 
I hope that if you're coming over from one of the other channels that you'll decide to hit that subscribe button and hang out with me for a while. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you check out Tiffany's channel down in the description box as well as the playlist link. And we would love for you to follow and subscribe to all of our channels. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye.